Despite their brilliance, aliens have a tough time understanding basic statistics. Their brain can't really wrap around the notion of randomness. Everything is binary to them, right or wrong, true or false. To them, calculating the mass of the sun is easy, whilst picking a number between 1 and 10 is difficult. Alright, I say, preparing to go into another explanation. Imagine we've got an aeroplane, and let's say it had a 2% fatality rate, you with me? I think so, the alien says. Right, so let's say 100 people board the plane. Two people die, he bursts out. No, 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 that's not how it works. See, the aeroplane has a 2% crash rate, which means 2 out of 100 scenarios, everybody dies, and 98 out of 100, nobody dies. You with me? Ah, so the first two planes crash, letting the other 98 fly without crashing. No, no, no. The planes have a 2% chance of crashing. If you do this enough times, then for each 100 planes, two will crash, but you never know which. But if, he says with a clever tone, informing me that he's about to give me a headache, 98 planes fly without crashing, then won't the next two have to crash? No, but think of a coin toss, it's 50-50. No, you calculate the amount of force you put into one side of the coin, and the air pressure, and the coin's way, and then you know what side it will land on, it's not random. All right, I say, putting my hands behind my back, and gripping the coin with my left hand. I show him my clenched hands, the coin is in one of my hands. What are the odds that you'll pick the right hand? Oh, 100%, he says. Are you sure? Yes. He points at my left hand. I can see the coin. Did you forget to have x-ray vision? Of course you do, I said with a sigh. Let's assume you didn't, and you had no clue what hand the coin was in. What would the odds be that you would be right? Well, considering that I have two options so that one of them is right, one divided by two is 0.5, which means 50%. If you kept picking at random for a large amount of times, it would equal out to 50%. But can we admit that there's a possibility that you pick the wrong hand, and then the wrong hand again? Hmm, he says. But that would not be 50%, that would be 0%. No. How well you fare has no meaning on the game's statistics. Statistics are followed when you do it enough times. That's how statistics work. They're not a moment-to-moment -moment judge. I think I get it, he says energetically. If you throw a billion coins, then the billion of coin toss must equal out 50-50, but until then it doesn't have to fit. No. It's possible to land to get heads a billion times in a row. I mean, there is an argument that there is a percentage that is so low that it is equal to zero. I think you could make that argument, but theoretically, you could get a billion times in a row. Then it doesn't seem like statistics exist. 